heat. It's the elephant in the room. When it comes to motor swaps, people want to talk about horsepower, torque, what it sounds like, what it looks like, but heat. That's something that nobody really wants to talk about. sore subject I suppose. With big power comes high temps under the hood and it is kind of a problem. Fortunately most of the kids out there do a pretty good job of keeping the heat in check or at least when it comes to things like daily driving one thing that I found to be a real challenge, even for the best of them. So today, we're gonna put Moby's brand new MoTeC 6.2 LT V8 to the test and we're gonna do so by driving him from all the way down here to all the way up here. Of course, we'll be making our long windy drive to the top of the mountain in the kind of triple digit heat that you can always find out here in the Nevada desert. gets up to as we climb our way up this mountain.
So climbing this long, windy mountain road is definitely putting, putting some pressure on our radiator and our transmission. Fortunately, the radiator is actually sticking at about 228. Once that fan kicked into high gear, it hasn't passed that. Our transmission is getting up to about 240 now, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip on this little guy, and that should help things out. To the top although this was maybe not the most exciting or sexiest test in the world it is actually one of the few things that i know of that will really torture a cooling system i have to say that a long slow climb up a mountain like this would have been hard on any engine even a 3.6 fortunately robbie made sure to outfit moby with a larger radiator an ss fan a large transmission cooler, an additional rail cooler for the transmission, and on the other side for oil. And if that weren't enough, he also included an additional transmission cooler underneath the rear of Moby with a manually operated fan. After doing a test like we just did, I think it's safe to say that all the cooling modifications that MoTeC made on Moby are all doing their job. Yes, temperatures went up, obviously. On the radiator, we were seeing temperatures around 230 degrees, which is totally fine. As soon as that SS fan kicked in, it didn't budge beyond that. Our transmission did get a little bit hotter. It got up into about the 240, 250 range, but as soon as I turned on the fan for the rear cooler, it just stayed there. Needless to say, we were able to get all the way up to the top of this mountain, all the way down from the bottom of the river, and without any issues. as well. Certainly, I think we learned a lot, and based on our test, I think I'll be giving Robbie a call now to see if there's anything he can do to get our trans temps a little bit cooler.